Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be discussing how to choose the right university for you. So first off, firstly obviously you've got to know what course slash what niche you're going into. For example, if you're going to go for like history, law, psychology, chemistry, whatever, you've got to know what you're going to pick because that will definitely help in trying to find the right university for you. So along with that, I would say, firstly, just Google your course and see what the top results that come up are. For example, I wasn't sure if there was going to be anything to do with like Viking studies and I Googled it and it turns out UCL did it. So boom, I already found one university that I knew I was definitely going to apply to because they did the course that I specifically wanted. So that was 100% I was going to apply there basically from day one. So next, obviously, you can go on and refine by geographical regions. So obviously, if you're from, say, the northernmost point of Scotland, say you're from somewhere like John O'Groats, I don't know. Um, but anyway, then you may think, actually, I don't really want to go that far from home. So then you may want to just stick to the Scottish unis. Or you may think, OK, I'll go down as far as, say, York in England or something. So find out where you want to apply. Another big question is, do you want to apply for a London university? Because a London university, obviously, you get um, a higher proportion of student loans because it is way more expensive than anywhere else in the United Kingdom. So yeah, do you want to go to a London university? Personally, I'd love to go to a London university. I just think the location is brilliant. But obviously that is your personal preference. Okay, next is whether you want to go for a campus university or a city university. Those are the main two types. Some of them cross over quite a bit. So personally, I like campuses, but I like them in the cities. I think the best way to try and find whether you prefer a campus or a city university is go and actually visit universities. So visit a couple that are campus, visit a couple that are cities. And you may find, actually, I love the city universities they're amazing. Some people do and then they won't apply for any campus universities because that's not their cup of tea so it's up to you entirely. Another decent way of deciding where you want to go, um, I know this isn't for everyone but you can look at league tables so I know The Guardian does one, I think The Times does one. But just Google, um, I've actually put some links down in the description of league tables that you can go and look at. So look in the description and you will be able to find the league tables. And what you can do is, as well as seeing the best universities in the United Kingdom, I should say the UK, it's way easier, London. So as well as seeing the best universities in the UK, you can also refine it on many of them by course. So you just type in what course you're doing. So for example, I'll do history. Obviously they're not gonna list every single course because that'd be insane. So just look at your rough subject area. For me, it would be history. So I would just look at history and then obviously I'd see the top is like Cambridge, then I don't really know what they're off the top of my head, but I'll put it up there so you can see. So just look at those and then you can say actually, yeah. And then going through the other points, you can say, okay, Cambridge, yeah, that's nice. I like that. That's a city uni, but it's kind of campus. So yeah. um, Or say like, for example, UCL, but oh, that's a city university and it's in London, so I don't want that and then you can just cross those off. So then you can go down the league tables. Um, especially for aspirational universities, it's really good to find those. And I definitely recommend you apply to some aspirational universities. Just so it gives you a target for your achievement levels in your A-levels, which I think is a really good idea, especially if you get the offer, it really gives you something to look forward to and something to aim for. So I highly recommend you do that. Next, I would say look at how long you want to be going to university for. I know it seems like a stupid question, but some university courses, most of them are three years. However, you do get some that offer you a placement year or a year abroad, like a study abroad kind of thing. So you may want to decide if you want to do that, if you want to be able to go out and get a placement or if you want to study abroad. Um, some universities will require that you do it as part of your course. For example, I know UCL is really heavily advocating that you study abroad. So look into that and that may or may not um, aid your decision in where you want to apply. So look out for that because that could be a huge factor in what you actually do and a lot of people overlook that factor. So make sure you know how long you want to study for because some people may just want a three year degree and then they can go. Whereas some people do want that extra bit to their course and get a four year. 
Also, some courses do come with masters um, attached to them anyway. For example, you may sign up for a course and it'll say MA, which means it's a master's course. Although in Scotland, it's naturally just called an MA anyway, which is a bachelor's, I think, still, but it will say MA. It's a bit confusing with Scotland. I'm not too sure myself, but I think their courses are naturally four years in Scotland anyway. So look into that as well, because that could influence your decision. Right, so when you found a few universities you like the idea of, you may have 10, you may have 20, I don't know how many you will have, but then go onto their websites and research them further and look at the individual modules that they offer. Because a lot of the time you may go onto the course and see that they offer just horrible modules that you won't get along with. So then obviously you're gonna to wanna to avoid those courses because they're not gonna be for you. Even if the university looks incredible, nonetheless, you won't want to go for it, there's no point. So make sure you look at that because the modules, they're going to be the things that you're actually studying and you want to go to university where you're enjoying the course. So highly recommend looking at that because so many people overlook this point as well. And that I find is really easy for me to distinguish where I want to go to university is just by looking at the modules. Okay, some uh, a few extra points I want to add in is firstly, don't let entry requirements deter you because I know a lot of people can see entry requirements as this barrier, you may be only achieving, say, Bs and Cs, but it doesn't mean that you can't actually achieve the top grades when you actually put your mind to it in your A-levels, because a lot of things change in the actual A-level exams, and people change, they work harder, and you can actually just achieve way better grades than you originally thought that you could. So don't let entry requirements deter you. I know you can go through adjustment in UCAS if you do do better, but by that time, a lot of places are already taken up. So definitely look into aspirational universities and don't worry about the entry requirements that much. You may want to have one, two, maybe even three aspirational universities that you apply to and that could just give you something to aim for again. So don't worry about that um, as much. It'll be fine, <laughs> don't worry. Okay, and then finally, my last point is don't apply somewhere just because your mates are applying there. Um, I know a lot of people will apply to somewhere because oh, their mates are going there and they're gonna have a great time, they're gonna party every night. Like that's not the point, like obviously at the end of the day the course is going to be different for everyone because all your mates are going to be studying different courses so yeah you don't need to look into it just because your mates are applying there. Yeah everyone's choice will be different so don't worry about it, go with your gut, go with where you want to apply and you never know it may just be a coincidence that you do end up going to a place where your mates are going and you'll have a great time anyway so don't worry about it, you'll be fine. Anyway, that does conclude today's video. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video, which should be going over the travel tips for my Interrail series. So stay tuned for that. I really can't wait to make that video. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Take me away from home. Show me all the places I've never known